What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank and today I want to address one little issue that I see in my comment section every time I'm talking about um, men talking trash about women and stuff you know as a pan-african I defend my black women but I notice a lot of people you know they they throw O'Shea Duke Jackson in the mix right there's a lot of I do have there's a section of my subscribers that don't like O'Shea Duke Jackson they feel like he may be a you know in that category or whatnot and they, they make their feelings known in my comment section and I just want to let you guys know that I like O'Shea Duke Jackson just for the record, you guys, I understand I'm always talking about the the the, the weirdos and incels that that uh you know make it their business to disrespect black women. And I think I understand where some of you guys are coming from when it comes to like some of O'Shea's uh you know celebrity junk. You know, he may have went kind of hard, you know, on some women sometimes, like like uh Lizzo, he went hard on Lizzo, right? But I think O'Shea, you know, if you if you pay attention to him, he has a show and he gives he gives smoke to a lot of people. Right. O'Shea gives a lot of smoke. He don't really discriminate. He gives smoke to a lot of people. He was a part of the man of fear. He kind of left that, you know, I guess the red pill. He kind of left that because they started to turn to something else. Right. I've always like just so y'all know, I've always liked Kevin Samuels. I thought he was constructive. He had some super flair to him. He had to have an entertainment value. But what I knew of Kevin Samuels is he was basically his profession that he proclaimed to be a part of is consistent with those people in that profession. It's just that he was the first one to bring it on the YouTube and make a thing of it. Just like you got your Simon Cows, you got your um, remember the uh, Hell's Kitchen. Remember he had the, the chef like this, that that personality to keep it 100 percent raw and semi rude because these people get paid. There are, there's a profession where people get paid to actually do that. Right. To be the antithesis of uh the the be well the opposite of a yes man right so a lot of people didn't like kevin samuels because he rubbed the, a lot of people the long way i actually like i thought he was being constructive and i thought if you really listen to him and comprehend what he was saying he was talking to a specific demographic of people right but a lot of people tried to copy him and they got out of hand they just they just bash women just for the hell of it but o'shea duke jackson he had to me o'shea duke jackson has a he don't really need me to defend none, none, his him at all he's a grown-ass man I'm, and I'm not really defending him. I'm just letting you guys know, you know, that when I'm talking about these dudes, I ain't talking about O'Shea, right? Because first of all, O'Shea got charisma and personality, so he doesn't count, you know, in when I be talking shit about about people. O'Shea has a bigger picture in mind. A lot of people, y'all see O'Shea, y'all y'all see what he's doing, but y'all don't know what he's really doing behind the scenes. O'Shea is he's a good dude, right? For real, for real. I know a lot of you guys don't like him. But I feel like O'Shea is one of the good ones out there. You know, I think his commentary is constructive. And when y'all see all the other stuff he does and how many people he's actually helped offline without asking for no money, I think people have a lot more appreciation for O'Shea. But I do understand that there are people who rock with me that don't like O'Shea. But just understand that I rock with O'Shea. He, I'm never including O'Shea in anything I'm talking about because I rocks with O'Shea, you know, period. I always liked O'Shea, even when I don't agree with everything he says. I like the spirit of what it is he's trying to do and he's a true business guy and if you really listen to O'Shea if you hear what he's actually saying he's really promoting true black power right black people need to start concentrating on black people doing business with black people networking with black people and being honest with black people and being willing to pay full price premium price in your black world to your black people and expect top quality you know inspect top quality service and demand it like we really need to start generating activating our personal economy and working with each other and even though we got white people on our backs doing shit to us we got to start ignoring some of their shit because for real we're definitely in a position where we don't really need them once we we figure out that we don't really need them we can do our own shit we can do everything ourselves we have the money we have the intelligence we have a whole market like if you want to talk about a wide open market, Africa's wide open. And he's showing us that Africa's wide open. Like if you want to, if you're an artist, let's say you're an independent music artist, right? But you don't, you don't, you don't capitulate to the America's algorithm of making death music for, you know, in order for your stuff to get played on the radio. You want to make good music, but maybe it's wholesome, right? Not so popular. You can go to Africa. There's a market for you. 
There's a billion people who enjoy wholesome African music every day. You could take your you could take your wholesome hip hop to Africa. You could take your if you're a black person, you play the violin or you play the piano, take it to Africa. People will pay for you to, to watch you perform. You can create an industry. If you're a movie maker, anime maker, if you make music videos, if you're a producer, any type of entertainment, man, forget America. Go to Africa's wide open market full of black people that already admire you and already want what you have. Sell it to them, right? Make it work. It's wide open for you, you know what I'm saying? If the market is saturated here, you feel like the market is saturated in America, go to Africa. Any type of media, radio, internet, you can go over there and make a whole conglomerate of YouTube channel networks and get some of these talented Africans to give them, get them their own show, help you know, make a studio, and you can, you can do stuff like that. You have the ability to do that over there where you can, you can be respected and you, ain't have, you don't have to worry about the element of white people doing weird shit to trip you up. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the things I, O'Shea is pushing, right? He's working really hard and he's pushing for it because he really don't got to. Right, O'Shea is a doctor. He could be making a ton of money and not freaking bothering with the black community or whatever. But his thing is entertainment. That's what he's into, you know, production and stuff like that. So I really admire those type of things. And I just want to let you guys know that if you think I'm a kumbaya with you guys when y'all talk shit about O'Shea, I'm not. That's why I never like <laughs> or I never star your stuff and if you get too rude i'm gonna delete it i don't like deleting people's comments unless it's so ignorant that it infects my comment section and i got i get rid of it but if you have a i mean but feel free to, to say what you want to say i'm not saying don't do it i'm just letting you know that i'm not on your side with that i accept and respect your opinion but i'm letting you know i rock with o'shea duke jackson that's my dude right like that's that's my dude i watch i'm a fan of his right and I'm a fan of his work, even though, like I said, I don't agree with everything, but I'm sure he don't agree with everything I say. I'm sure I say a lot of crazy shit. He'd be like, oh, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, you know, I'm sure of it. I'm sure a lot of people do that, but I'm just letting y'all know that's my dude, all right? So just so you know, because I like to be clear, keep it real, I'm never talking about him. And nobody really suggested it. I just felt the need to do it because every time I make a video going after, you know, these pip squeaks and these women, the dudes who disrespect women, I'm never, he's never in the, in that category for me. Personally, but I know he may be in there for y'all, but not for me personally. I just want to say that. But anyway, that's all I got to say for now, guys. It's Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something. I'm out.